All right, what I wanted to do today was talk with you a little bit about the differences in growing your money in a taxable environment versus a tax-free environment. This is a subject that we talk about here on the show all of the time because obviously, hopefully, most people realize the difference that taxes will make on your retirement dollars once you start pulling money out of the accounts. But sometimes individuals will underestimate the impact of taxes on their investment dollars over long periods of time. So what I wanted to do is uh, walk you through a specific example. Rather than talking generalities, I wanted to go through a real-world example. And again, we're going to compare growing your money in a taxable environment versus growing your money in a tax-free environment. We'll show you the impact uh, that this will have uh, over a 20-year period. Uh, now, first what we'll do is we'll take a look at growing money in a taxable environment. Now, this might be a taxable mutual fund or CD or a money market. Now, let's say someone goes out and they want to invest additional dollars for their retirement and they want to put their money into a tax-free environment, right? That makes sense. And the example we're going to use is let's say that they go out and they invest $1,000 per month. And they're going to do this uh, every month moving forward. And let's assume that they could earn 6% interest. Uh, obviously, we could use a higher or lower interest rate, but let's assume we're going to earn 6% interest, and they're going to do this over a 20-year period. At the end of the 20 years, they would end up having right at $460,000. Okay, that's what their account would grow to be worth. Uh, so not bad. That should hopefully help them supplement their retirement uh, income with other retirement assets. Now let's say that we have somebody that uh, didn't know any better, and they put their money into a taxable environment. So could be a taxable mutual fund or money market or CD, something like that. We're going to use the same example. Let's say we take $1,000 per month and we invest it into a taxable environment. Now, again, we're still going to grow the money at a 6% interest rate, but this time we're not getting 6% net because we have to pay taxes on the growth out of the account each year. And let's say that we are in a 28% tax bracket, which is the national average for uh, taxpayers when you add up federal, state, and local income taxes. Uh, we're growing it at 6%, but this time we're paying 28% in tax along the way. And again, we're going to do it over a 20-year period. At the end of the 20 years, the account's not going to be worth 460000 Obviously, it's going to be worth less because you're paying taxes along the way. And the account at the end of the 20 years is only going to be worth 380000 Okay, so obviously a difference. That's a, a sizable difference, but the situation goes even a little bit further because it's not so important as far as how large your nest egg is when you retire, but you want to take a look at what type of an income can you generate from that particular retirement account. So if we start over here with our tax-free account, again, it's worth $460,000. That's going to give us approximately uh, because we're going to be able to take tax-free distributions from it because, again, it's a tax-free account. That's going to give us approximately somewhere between maybe $1,500, maybe up to $2,000 per month, okay, once we retire. So, again, that can uh, be used to maybe supplement other retirement assets such as a 401k or Social Security, pension income, things of that nature. Over here, again, we've got a smaller pile of money, but when we start to take money out, once again, we're, we're potentially going to have to pay taxes on uh, the income that we're taking out. So if we assume the same 28% tax rate, we have a smaller pile of money that's throwing off taxable income. This is probably only going to pay somewhere approximately in the 900 to maybe as high as about $1,100 per month range. So. Um, you know, a pretty sizable difference. Over here, because we grew our money tax efficiently, we have $600 to $900 more per month. That's about a 50% difference. So over here, because we grew our money uh, in a little better manner, we have about 50% more income or more spendable dollars that we can use once we retire. So over time, it does make a massive difference. And again, just to kind of review why the difference is so large, what we have with the taxable investment is we have a smaller pile of money that will throw off taxes or taxable income, smaller pile of money throwing off a taxable income versus what we have over here, which is a larger pile of money, which again will throw off tax-free income. Now, when you start to take a look at, well, what are some of the different investment options that we have, either in a taxable environment or a tax-free, uh, some of the things that you want to watch out for over here is making sure that you do not have too much money in taxable CDs, 
Uh, you want to make sure you do not have too much money in taxable mutual funds, okay? Because again, they're going to have a dramatic impact on how much money you can spend and enjoy in the future. Uh, you want to make sure you're not sitting on too much money in a taxable money market account. I will meet with individuals all the time that they'll have monies or dollars that they really consider or, or that are earmarked for their retirements and they're growing those dollars in a taxable environment. You don't want to do that. You want to shift the money if you can into a tax-free environment and if you can't do it tax-free you can certainly always do it tax deferred but when we take a look at some of the options that are going to be available over here on this side you know some of the tax-free options obviously you have money inside of a Roth IRA money that you grow and accumulate inside of the Roth is going to grow tax-free. Uh, you have municipal bonds uh, or muni bonds. Okay, so again, their interest can be tax-free moving forward. You also have, in some cases, what's called investment-grade life insurance. So again, another option where you could put money into this and it's going to grow uh, tax-free. And when you take your money out of the account, it's going to be tax-free as well. So obviously a big different, different types of options that are available, but ultimately what we're trying to do is make sure that we're maximizing the amount of spendable dollars we have in the future. And depending on how you grow your money, whether it's in a taxable environment or a tax-free, it's going to have a dramatic impact on how much money you have to spend and enjoy in the future uh, and or pass on to your heirs or beneficiaries, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. You're watching Strategic Wealth with Matt Dickin. It's Smart Money Television.